Ohio. Welcome once again to the Retirement Blueprint Show with Tim Lofton, a retirement income specialist of Axum Planning and Wealth. I'm your host, Spike Spangle. Tim, what's on your mind this week, my friend? Well, I'll tell you, I have been talking to a couple of clients and they have asked us to talk about something different on the show, something we haven't ever talked about. Pickleball? And, that's, and that is, pick, it is not pickleball. We have talked a lot about pickleball. This is a group that I think is overlooked. When you are looking at this TV station right now, you're watching our show, are you single? Are you widowed? Maybe no kids? This show is going to start out talking about what your planning needs are and how they're different from a normal married couple or a second marriage because it's a different set of planning needs, Spike. Thank you so much, Tim. You're right. We, we do talk a lot about couples and retirement planning. And if maybe you've felt left out or where do you go for your plan, it is just as important. I might even say even more important mm -hmm to get a retirement plan done if you're going into retirement single. There's a lot of different issues and reasons why. Uh, don't go anywhere though. Also on this program, I wanna discuss economics and inflation. Which truth are you feeling at home? The economists right now are saying that inflation has come down. I don't know, I still feel like prices though are really high. So what truth are you feeling at your home? That inflation has come down or prices are still gouging away at our mm. retirement savings? But I love what you were talking about. Let's go back to that. Single yeah. and retirement planning, either through being widowed right. or maybe by choice, that's, that's fine as well. Uh, but there's complications in doing retirement planning on your own. There is, and, and let's look at the statistics, Spike. About 30% right now of Americans, 50 or older, live alone. About 27% of those 60 or older live alone. That is 10% higher than the global average. So this is a large part of our, our population and they have a completely different set of planning needs. I mean, if you think about a married couple, a lot of times they take for granted some of the built-in security that they have in their plans. You have two pensions sometimes, two social securities, there's life insurance, there's all these different kind of get out of jail free cards that can be played if something were to happen to one of them. When it's just you, it's just you. Right. And let's also talk about connection, right? Mm -hmm. You've got a soulmate, so somebody who you're talking with. And we have said a lot about how retirement planning isn't just about the dollars and cents. It's about right. engagement. It's yeah. about having a purpose. Yes, giving jobs to the money, like you always like to say, right. but giving purpose to yourself as well in retirement. I don't, I don't know if golfing seven days a week is, is giving ourselves purpose, but maybe yeah. if you are meeting up with friends yeah. and doing things or participating with the community, we do want to have that connection, right? Well, think about just, just the work at home, Spike. Um, you know, right now I can be sitting on the couch and my wife can say, hey, uh, do you want to do the dishes? Which of course I always say, no, of course I don't want to do the dishes. Are you asking me if I will do the dishes? Because that is a different question. And yes, I will. I will be happy to do the dishes. If it's just you, you're doing the dishes. You're doing the yard work. If something breaks, you're responsible for that. What if you're a person who maybe isn't handy, like me? Uh, if something breaks, I gotta call somebody. There's added expense there where maybe another, your a spouse is in a position where they just go out and fix it. Uh, I know those people, it's just not who I am, right? right. So a lot of those types of things are, are it's an extra weight mm -hmm. that as a single person that you're looking at. And then you go, if, if there's no kids, now think about what the purpose of is of my money. A lot of times, you know, as we're talking to clients and we say, hey, what's a goal? Well, one of my goals is to pass on to the kids. Well, if I don't have kids, what am I gonna do with that money? And then do I have as much pressure to make sure that that money maintains its value because all of a sudden if I spend down into principal, it's not a big deal because that money is for my purpose and my use only. Well, I, I think a, a unique, positive of it though is being able to kind of focus our goals on maybe that long term we've talked many times about how people are living longer mm -hmm. we really have to extend plans uh, in fact on a radio show we did recently we're on whio out here on the weekends uh, we talked about a 115 year old who celebrated right. their birthday right 115 years 115. old and the funny thing about that story was the daughter lived with her 94 94 years, years old. old yeah now if we are on our own though living well into our 90s could mm -hmm. we then use our nest egg our social security and so forth to, to kind of set us up for a long-term health care plan if we don't have those kids to supposedly come around and take care of us absolutely and 
think of that risk. A lot of times when we're talking about the risk of a nursing home, we're concerned about how would that impact our spouse or how would that impact the kids if, if all of our nest egg went away, we wouldn't be able to pass that on. When it's just you, is that really a concern? A lot of times as I'm talking to clients that, that fit into this category, they're like, Tim, I don't care. Like if I go into a nursing home and all my money goes away, it, it was just all going to charity anyway. So it's, it's just, it, it's a different set of needs. And I feel like in the industry that I've worked in for the last 30 years, it's an area that has been ignored. And like I said, I had three different clients that said, could you talk about this on your show? Yeah. Because a lot of the things that, that you and Spike talk about are not the things that help me because right. my situation is different. And I was like, you know what? We absolutely will. So for those clients, this show is for you. Right, right. And there's, of course, the choice of going into retirement on your own. Mm -hmm. Maybe you lived that way on purpose. Maybe you went through divorce and did not remarry. Mm -hmm. So there's financial concerns there. Let's address the, the widowhood, though. This is something that obviously can happen, and, and either widower or widower, right. and uh, not knowing exactly what you need to do, or more importantly, who you can trust in that right. situation. You know, I, I think that might keep people from picking up a phone, say, "Oh, well, once they know that I'm in this situation, they're going to try to sell me things and do mm -hmm. things." Registered as a fiduciary, you do have a responsibility, especially with Axum Planning and Wealth. Correct? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know for at least for the widowers if it happens when they're already a client there is a seamless transition there obviously there's a lot of emotional piece to work through but the plan was built to take care of that scenario when we get somebody that comes in as a widow that's more along the lines of what what you're talking about is there is a there's a reluctance here's here's what i know if you're watching this show and you're the financial person in your household, understand that you have a tendency to pass away first. So you may want to shift that to your spouse <laughs> because it, it just seems that way. You know, when, when someone passes away, inevitably the person that I'm sitting across the table from in our conference room was not the person that did the planning. They were not you know, as engaged. That was not their area of expertise. They focused on other aspects of the household and so a lot of times, in addition to the emotional trauma that they're dealing with and all the things that feel uncertain, they don't have that, that feeling of safety. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. The question that gets asked is, am I gonna be okay? Like, is, 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 do I have enough? It's the same questions that everyone that's getting ready to retire asks, mm -hmm. but it's coming from a different place because it's just them. Right. If that's on your mind, if you are going into retirement solo, you don't have to do it alone. You can do it with a team here who will help you map out a strategy. You can get your own retirement blueprint. We might even say <clears throat> that it's even more important if you're going into retirement on your own to make sure that you have a retirement plan. And you can do that right here. Call the phone number below. We have people standing by right now to schedule your appointment for you to come in. It's just a conversation, no obligation. Get your retirement blueprint started right now. Call the phone number. In fact, if you'd like to learn more about the firm here, watch this following message about the philosophy of Tim Lofton and Axum Planning and Wealth. My most rewarding moment for helping clients is seeing the fear of the unknown disappear from their face. You know, some people are worried about a potential nursing home stay. Some it's market volatility and losing their money in their investment. Some are just genuinely concerned about the direction of the economy. But for the most part, the whole taking away of fear and concern starts with having a plan. Not something off the shelf, but something customized to that family where we can sit down and get to know them intimately to understand what their hopes and dreams are. What do they want to have happen after they're gone? And make sure that those things happen. The retirement blueprint is exactly that. It's a blueprint for retirement. It's built off of the five cornerstones of retirement planning. That's developing an income plan, creating a tax plan, an estate plan, a long-term care and health care plan, and of course, the investment plan. And the best part is we have a team of people to come alongside to do all of those things that have the credentials and the expertise 
and the years of experience to make sure that everyone is coming together to create the best plan. It takes those worries out of their head and puts solutions down on paper. Social security is easy, right? The question is, should I take it now or later? Well, there are dozens of ways that you can take Social Security if you're single, and hundreds if you're married. You've paid into the system for decades. Don't you want to make sure that you optimize your retirement income? Depending on how you've set up your other retirement accounts, your Social Security could either be tax-free or up to 85% taxable. It's not as simple as it might seem. So give us a call today let us uncomplicate Social Security for your retirement. Give us a call at 855-684-3485 or you can scan the QR code below to schedule your complimentary review. Welcome back to the Retirement Blueprint Show with Tim Lofton, a retirement income specialist of Axum Planning and Wealth. I'm Spike Spangle and uh, we always do address almost every single show about making sure that you bring your spouse in, making sure that we mm -hmm. on a plan together and that way we can both stay on the same page. But going into retirement on your own, either by design or without design, if a spouse has passed away, it can be difficult, maybe even more important to do your retirement planning. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about the, the children aspect of it. Of course, there's the connection, there's communication, visitations, holidays and so forth. Uh, so it might be kind of a bummer topic to think about not having the kids. On the other hand, or, you didn't have to pay for three kids to go to college. Yes, and that is what I have to do. So there, there is that win. Um, and you also don't have to deal with three teenagers, which can also be, uh, it, it, you know, we talk about adding to longevity. Mm -hmm. I am convinced that not having teenagers would add to longevity. Like my hair fell out and turned gray <laughs> only during the time that the that my my kids were, were becoming teenagers so i don't know what that means <laughs> right but uh so let, again some of the things we need to consider if you are going to retirement on your own uh let's have one social security right mm -hmm. so that we're not going to be getting an extra social security right. with another partner there uh probably then also w no windfalls things like receiving a life insurance from a spouse passing away but on that social security subject and and this is something that you know i think a lot of times people are not aware of if you are single because of divorce, if you were married 10 years or longer, your ex-spouse, you could qualify for their social security. So that is that is a consideration if that is one of those things that we, we've seen, you know, maybe not a widow, but they went through a divorce, they remain single, you know, understand that that may still be out there for them. You have seen this, you've told me about this several times, that people just aren't aware of those social security options, mm -hmm. uh, especially when you've gone through divorce. We always say before turning on your social security, make sure you get a review with someone, uh, especially someone outside of the social security office. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with them, it's just they're not total financial planners. Right. So you can get more complete advice from someone on the outside, especially does the social security. So a, a little side story, I had a client and uh, I asked her, I said, you know, she said, hey, I've been divorced and I said, well, you know, were you married at least 10 years? She said, well, she said, I, I was married 10 years, but unfortunately it was two fives. So she was married to two different people <laughs> for five years each. So I said, well, unfortunately that does not qualify no, you, yeah. but that is a great story. <laughs> it's got a 10 years, 10 same years, person. 10 years, 10 10 years on the same time clock. Yeah. Uh, so of course, you no know, things like, like life insurance, also, additional expenses, everything from transportation. Mm -hmm. And you might be thinking, okay, well, I'm cooking and eating for myself, but you're also preparing it. The, the costs are just a little bit higher when you're doing all right. of that on your own. Now, what about setting ourselves up for things like our own long-term care facilities, having choice of where mm -hmm. we go, especially when we're maybe no longer able to make those choices for ourselves? And I, and I think that that aspect becomes really important because if you think about it, you know, you're kind of in the driver's seat there, right? I have, you know, 
my whole nest egg is for me. And so I can be a little bit choosy when I'm deciding, you know, maybe looking at that, that over 55 community makes sense. Yeah, it's a little bit more expensive, but it gives me the lifestyle, it gives me the human interaction, it gives me activities, it gives me a lot of the things that maybe if I was married or I had kids, it allows me to have the human interaction piece that I might be missing. And maybe I'm looking at that sooner rather than later. I know in Ohio uh, that, that we, look at, we look at those over 55 communities differently. You go down to Florida, you're on a waiting list to get in there. Mm -hmm. In Ohio, we look at that as the last resort, the last stop. I'm being forced into that situation. And maybe we should be changing the way we think about that because an over 55 community, essentially, you're, it's like joining a country club. You know, you've got a you've lot got of people. You've got your health care there. You've got your food there. Right. You've got interaction. You've got activities. And no matter what stage of life I enter, no matter what stage of care I might need, it's all built in and kind of a one-stop shop. And don't you usually notice that people who are having that conversation about trying to get in the facility are usually the older parents Mm -hmm. of, of some, their folks are the ones who need to go in. And so you're in your 60s or 70s, you're trying to get mom or dad into a facility. Right. So if you're going into retirement on your own, shouldn't you start that kind of planning earlier? Absolutely. And, you know, again, I, I think that this is, you know, we look at these over 55 communities in Ohio and we say, you know, that's not something you're being forced in. That's something you're choosing because it's a lifestyle. It, that's different than, you know, the conversations that we seem to have with clients. And this has been this way for almost 30 years. It's mom and dad are being forced. They're being taken out of their home. The car is being taken away. It's, it's all this into life stuff. That doesn't have to be the case. And if, if I'm single, you know, number one, I might meet another, you know, single, you know, 50, <laughs> listen, I love love and love happens in over 55 communities. I'm just telling you, it's a thing. And so having that, that opportunity, I think number one, it, it, you, you have a, a better standard of living, you have a, a better life experience, and it's a place that you move into and you can grow old into, and there is no being forced down the road to do something you don't want to do. Tim and I are going to start a new retirement facility right here in Dayton called Silver Singles. Silver this Singles. For, this is for people who want to have fun. Wait, it's a website. We've got to build it. We've got to build a dating app. Is it? That's right. Uh, but just a few more important things, especially going in retirement on a own, whether it's through widowhood or through your own choice and design, things like medical directives, powers mm -hmm. of attorney, who do we give these trusted choices to in case we're unable right. to make those decisions for ourselves? Because a lot of times those advanced directives like powers of attorney and living wills and all of those things, we typically look to the kids to take over those roles. So if I'm in that position, there's a couple of things that I want to think about. One is, you know, do I want to pick somebody my same age or do I want to pick somebody younger? You know, there's, it could be another family member. It could be a friend. Uh, the, the key with these is it's a trusted person that you believe can fulfill the duties if necessary. So that financial power of attorney, I'm looking at somebody who's good with money that, you know, they, maybe they are good with the online stuff that they could step into that role. If you weren't able to pay your bills for, you know, a, a period of time, they would feel comfortable and you would feel comfortable with them doing so. That medical power of attorney could be a totally different person. Maybe they have a medical background. They, they were a nurse or a doctor or it's a family friend who has you know, a lot of expertise in that area. It doesn't have to be the same person. Mm -hmm. And so really, I think for somebody who doesn't have kids, you actually get a better person in those roles because a lot of times the kids are a default. That doesn't mean that they're good with finances or good with, with medical decisions. It's just they're my kids, so that's who I picked. If I don't have to choose them, I can choose anyone. You know, my, my pick in my team gets a little bit uh, bigger. Right. The retirement blueprint, not just for couples. It's important for couples to do retirement planning together. But especially if you're on your own in retirement, who do we have to help you make those decisions in case you are unable to later in life. Tim, tell them about the retirement blueprint, especially going into retirement on their own. Okay. If, if you're single and you're watching this show and you're wondering, okay, how does this retirement blueprint work for me? Because my situation is different. I will tell you this, the retirement blueprint can help you as well.
It's going to help you create an income plan that works for you and your situation. We can help with that social security, social security claiming strategy. We can look at things like long-term care planning, estate planning, all of those things that everyone needs but are most important when it's just you. We can put that together. All you have to do is call the number, 855-684-3485. Claim your spot today. Call us up and say, listen, I'm single. I want your help. I'm interested in this retirement blueprint. I want to talk to Tim. Tim, I couldn't have said it any better than that. Folks, call that phone number down at the bottom of the screen and claim your retirement blueprint right now. When we get back, we're going to talk about why inflation is so important today. In fact, don't go anywhere. Listen to the following message that Tim has on inflation. The mistake that we see with a lot of people coming into our office is that they made a projection of how much money they were going to need maybe 20 years ago, and they didn't account for inflation in those figures. The average retiree is gonna spend at least 20 years in retirement. That means that the cost of living is going to double at least one time. For example, if somebody 20 years ago said, I'm gonna need $40,000 for my investments in retirement, that number is only worth 20,000 now. And so so they actually needed to make sure they were looking for $80,000 if 40,000 net was their number back then. So as we're looking at the income needed in retirement, we have to have a plan in place that's going to double our income over that same period, or we're gonna to have to reduce our lifestyle, which is not what we worked all our lives for. Those are the types of things that we try and help clients with as they're planning out their future retirement to make sure that taxes and inflation are covered in those projections. If taxes and inflation are keeping you up at night, give us a call. Sit down, let us do a complimentary review with you and design your very own retirement blueprint. It's our trademark process that we've designed over the last 30 years to help you retire and stay retired. Do you have an estate plan? What is an estate plan? Well, simply put, it gives what you want to who you want, when you want, the way you want, with the least amount of fees possible. It includes things like a trust and advanced directives. If this has been on your to-do list, give us a call today at 855-684-3485. Let us show you how an estate plan fits with the retirement blueprint a written financial plan to help you uncomplicate retirement. Give us a call today, or you can scan the QR code below for your complimentary review. Welcome back to the Retirement Blueprint Show with Tim Lofton of Axum Planning and Wealth. We spoke a lot about what your messages were just there, both about uh, some inflation and, of course, estate planning. Right. So the first two segments were. Let's continue, though, on the inflation streak, if you don't mind. The economists... Over in D.C., we, we've talked about this. Yes. They're, they pat themselves on the back for yeah. where inflation, the number is. It's somewhere. coming down, Spike. It's coming down. It's coming, coming down. down. Soft landing. Yeah, we did soft, the soft landing. soft landing. But why are prices still so high? I, 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 that's what I want to ask our viewers is what do you feel at home? Do you really feel like inflation has come down, that they, they helped us slow down this inflation? Or are our costs still going to remain really high going into the future? Spike, that's a great question. If you want, I can, I've got my phone here. I can get my mom on the line. We can actually bring her on air and she can explain to you and answer your question. We have this conversation all the time. She's like, she's like Timothy. She's the only one, by the way, that calls uh -oh. me Timothy. No, we're, yeah. we're going to be calling him Timothy yeah, for now. And she doesn't even have to be mad. Like, that's just, she's like, that's the name I gave you. That's the name I'm going to call you. I'm like, all right, mom, that's, that's, that's fair. You, you did birth me. Um, so that question is a question that is easily answered. It's not helping. Inflation dropping is not bringing prices down. When prices go up for something that, that has gone up because of inflation, it stays there. Now, the economists can tell us how, you know, they've got inflation under control, we're having this soft landing, but if milk went from $3 to $4, it's still $4. It's not like it goes down to three fifty. And the slow erosion of purchasing power, which is, is all that inflation is, happens over time. Now, the last couple years, it's just been more in our face because it has been huge inflation moves. And in addition, we've had these huge raises with Social Security. What my mom says is this, my, they, my Social Security went up, 
but it still doesn't buy all the stuff I need, mm -hmm. right? That's, that's a fact of it. And if you look at Social Security over time, and there's a lot of great studies out there, but essentially over 30 years, if your Social Security check today is $2,000, 30 years from now, it's going to buy $1,000 worth of stuff, even though there's been cost of living adjustments all along the way. We lose 50% of our purchasing power, even with the cost of living adjustments on Social Security. I think what we want to be clear about, this isn't just because of what happened over the last couple of years. No. When we saw those 9.5% inflation rates, this isn't just something that's lingering for the last couple of years. Inflation is something that retirement planners have been putting into their plans for three, four, five decades. Right. It just seems like the public is more aware of it right now. So usually the cost of living doubles, what, is it every, every 20 years? Every 20 years mm -hmm. or so. That's so a 3% inflation rate. You'll, at 3%, okay. Yeah. So in 20 years, you will need double just to live the way you are right now. And I think that's a hard number. It's called future value of money. Correct. To figure out how much you have right now what will it really be worth for you in purchasing power down the road? Software, do you do this all in your big brain? Do you have folks in the office who help you do it? How do you do the future value of money? Well, we, we do have software, but I have been doing this for 30 years, so it does happen pretty quick in, in my mind as well. Let me, let me uncomplicate this for you. If you need $40,000 a year right now in addition to your Social Security to live, 20 years from now, you're going to need $80,000. Here's the problem. What is your plan to make that happen? That means that you have to have a growth component to your investment plan. Here's the issue that I see. A lot of times when we're talking about retirement, uh, the standard is the gold standard. We're going to put everything in a 60-40 portfolio, 60% stocks, 40% bonds. We can pull 4% out. And Bill Bangan said in 1991, it'll work out forever or until it doesn't. If you f look at that philosophy and you say, okay, so what is my average growth rate over time? If I'm pulling out 4% and I'm getting a couple percent of growth rate, but inflation's at three, how am I getting growth on that portfolio? Because it a lot of times takes somebody's entire nest egg to generate that income. Right, right. We're going to have to wrap this up, but we want to let folks know that we're not being <laughs> literally inflationary on our own by talking about this. It's that finally folks are knowing and being aware of inflation that you need to take it into account into your retirement plan. That's literally one of the reasons why you built the retirement blueprint. You created it. Tell folks what they're gonna get 20 seconds ago. When you come in for your appointment, you're gonna get a written financial plan that covers all the aspects of retirement designed for you based on your needs and your future. Thank you so much, for Tim, for talking about all of these topics today. You can get your own retirement blueprint by calling the phone number right down here on the bottom of the screen. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back next week. Mm -hmm.